Hi, this is Alistair Fox from WordPress How To. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the FileZilla FTP client. If you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't already been on my blog, head over to my blog and check it out. There's a previous post explaining how to download and install FileZilla, which is the one you can see on screen now. Before you get started, first thing you need to do is head over to your hosting account. Now, I use Bluehost. But all C panels are very similar. And Bluehost uses C panel, and many other hosting companies use C panel. So regardless of which one you're using, you shouldn't have a problem. So you need to scroll down to the Files tab and click on the FTP accounts. You now need to create a login. So I'm just going to call mine Alistair. Oh, spell it right. Oh, and again. password uh, you don't need the name on the end there. all you need it to say is public HTML all right with a slash now if you needed to create more than one account for multiple users you can create an individual account for each person but I'm only going to need the one so I'll just be setting up the one account so once you've typed in your details you just click on create FTP account and there you go, it's all done. It gives you all your setting details here, and you're going to need these in a moment, so don't close the page yet. I mean, if you needed to get back to them later on, you can, but for now, we, we can just leave them there. Right, now you need to load up FileZilla. So you would have installed it previously, so we just click on the FileZilla there. It's loaded up. Now, on the left hand side here, you'll see the local. Okay, so this is basically your hard drive, all the files that are on your hard drive. And on the right hand side, this is where your host is going to be showing up. Okay, So these are the details up the top here that you need to be filling in. So the host, if we go back to the browser, now the host is the FTP server. So you just need to copy that information and paste that in there. And then you've got your username, and my username is that. Take the whole username, just copy that. Again, we just paste that into there. Your password is the password that you created. And then the port, again, if you go back to the information here, it tells you that the FTP server port is 21. Okay, so you just put 21 in there. And then you click Quick Connect, and off it goes. And provided you've typed all the information in correctly, you'll see it's connected. It'll tell you that it's been list, uh, successfully connected there. But also, you'll see the files show up here. Now, again, with me, I've got more than one account, so I've got more than one domain showing up. So if you want to get to a specific domain, you just double-click it. And what I'll show you here is I'm just going to find my WordPress how to one there. And that's taken me to my WordPress how to domain. So that's all the files that are in there. Now, another good thing to do is to bookmark it. So next time you want to come back to the same folder, it's quicker to reconnect. You can just click on a bookmark and it'll take you straight there. So if you just go up to bookmarks, click add bookmark give it a name, so I'm just going to call this WordPress how to directory it automatically knows obviously the, the destination and you need to click site specific bookmark and then click OK and that's it so if you go up to server and disconnect just so we can test this then you can go to your bookmarks, you can see your bookmark there click on that it will automatically reconnect straight into that folder and you're ready to start whatever it is you need to do. And you can set bookmarks up for all your different folders on the server so they're a lot easier to get to. Well, there you go, that's it. So remember to check out, if you haven't done already, check out the previous post. There we are. If you haven't already read that, read that first and then you can follow through on the video a lot easier. So again, if you're watching this on YouTube, head over to wordpresshowto.biz forward slash blog and check it out. There's some cool stuff there. Well, thanks for listening. I've enjoyed making this video for you and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.